Well, today we honor a man who broke barriers and left a lasting mark on New York City. Mayor David Dinkins died of natural causes Monday at his home on the Upper East Side. He was 93 years old. CBS 2's Marsha Kramer takes a look back on the accomplishments he made during his four years leading the city. The Honorable David N. Dinkins. On January 1st, 1990, David Norman Dinkins, the son of a domestic and a barber, entered New York City's history books as the first and to date only African American to win election as mayor of the city of New York. I intend to be the mayor of all the people of New York. <laughs> this administration will never lead by dividing by setting some of us against the rest of us. He was a kind and dignified man who referred to New York's diverse population as the gorgeous mosaic, and he had a soft spot in his heart for children, all children, so much so that after he took the oath of office, to solemnly swear, he said he would dedicate his administration to bettering the life of the children of New York. And the measure of whether I fulfill my mandate will be how we treat those who start out in life during my tenure at City Hall. Dinkins defeated Ed Koch to become the 106th mayor of the city of New York by promising to be tough on crime and more sensitive on racial issues. Yet his administration was marked by a number of polarizing events, the black boycott of a Korean-owned grocery store in Flatbush, Brooklyn, and the 1991 Crown Heights riots. Crime proved to be a difficult problem for Dinkins. A wave of murders, crime, and gun violence prompted the New York Post to demand, Dave, do something. Dinkins did do something. He got the state legislature to pass a safe street, safe cities tax to hire thousands of additional cops. And that helped him reduce crime dramatically, ending a 30-year upward spiral. Ironically, Dinkins was hurt by the perception that crime was out of control during his administration. After shots were fired less than a block away from a press conference he had on gun control, I talked to Dinkins about his own safety concerns. Do you ever worry about your own personal safety? There's just not much one can do about that, and uh, if, if to live in constant fear is not to live. Dinkins was known for his dapper dress. In the office, he kept his suit pants in a press to keep the crease and walked around in sweatpants and for his personal toughness, in part the result of a stint in the Marines. Dinkins entered public life in the 1960s when he was elected to the New York State Assembly. He was a Democratic district leader for two decades. He became the first black to head the city board of elections in 1972, and he was about to become the city's first black deputy mayor, appointed by then-Mayor Abraham Beam, until it was discovered he failed to pay his taxes for four years. It's my era. should not have happened. It was only a temporary setback. In 1975, he became city clerk. Then he ran and lost for Manhattan Borough President. He was finally elected Manhattan Borough President in 1985, and four years later, he won election to the city's top job. One of the people who worked for Dinkins was a young man who would go on to become mayor himself. David Dinkins believed that we could be better. He believed we could overcome our divisions. He showed us what it was like to be a gentleman, to be a kind person, no matter what was thrown at him, and a lot was thrown at him. And he always tried to answer the hate with love. I think that this city will always be indebted to him and this nation, and certainly this community. He represented the best of us, and he never forgot the rest of us. The passing of David Dinkins comes more than a month after the loss of his wife, Joyce. The former first lady of New York City died October 11th at the age of 89. Joyce Dinkins was born in Harlem and earned a sociology degree from Howard University in Washington, where she met her future husband. She was a champion of literacy and established reading is recreation at Gracie Mansion. She and the former mayor are survived by their two children. And former New York City Mayor Mike Bloomberg posted his tribute to Dinkins on Twitter, saying in part David Dinkins' groundbreaking mayoral victory in 1989 helped New York City turn an important corner in racial equality. He went on to say, I will always remember a man, a Marine, a mayor, and a friend who was deeply proud of his service to his city and country, and rightly so. And Rudy Giuliani, who defeated David Dinkins in the 1993 New York City mayoral race, is offering his sympathies. He tweeted, I extend my deepest condolences to the family of Mayor David Dinkins and to the many New Yorkers who loved and supported him. He gave a great deal of his life and service to our great city. That service is respected and honored by all. And we have much more on Dinkins' life and legacy on our website, including a slideshow and reaction. It's all at CBSNewYork.com.